वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गोयकार पॉइंट विथ मी सूरज नांद्रेकर टुडे वी आर इन अ प्लेस कॉल्ड साइपे इन कलंगोट कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी एंड वी वी हैव विथ अस मिस्टर माइकल लोबो हु हैज बीन अ टू टाइम एमएलए फ्रॉम बीजेपी इन कलंगोट बट टुडे ही इज आस्किंग फॉर वर्ड्स ऑन कलंग कांग्रेस टिकट एंड द एंड द रिस्पांस एज सीन हियर हैज बीन ओवरवेलमिंग लेट्स टॉक टू हिम एंड नो व्हाट आर हिज प्लान्स एंड हाउ आर व्हाट इज द रिस्पांस ऑफ द पीपल वेलकम माइकल बाब व्हाट हैज बीन द रिस्पांस ऑफ द पीपल हियर people wanted a change and when i asked them which ticket do i contest mm. and uh, when i informed them that people of all over other places in goa are not happy with the current government that is bjp government where i was part of it and we raised several issues to the cm to the cabinet to the party also but they never heard us they wanted to do what they want the result you can see today that all over goa people have uh, realized that the go- the government that is uh, bjp government has failed bjp government wanted to deliver what was india mind and what was their agenda not what the people wanted so that is why i decided along with my people that i should change from bjp and come to congress and uh come in a party where there was only one mla remaining that is digambar kamath and i joined them and from there we are we have just taken off and i think we are going to uh see a sea of change people are going to see a sea of change and uh, the vote for change is for the congress party and in 2022 congress party will form the government on its own and our uh, slogan is 22 may 22 means yeah. 22 seats in 22 yeah uh, yes. michael as uh, we have done an interview with you last week only and we know uh, what are your plans so my exact plan uh, our questions uh, would be different right this time uh, you are the only mla uh, ml ex mla who is seen uh, campaigning in almost uh, almost all the constituencies Uh, I'm yet uh, to go to South Goa. Yeah, I but in the Congress, table. in the I Congress, have... otherwise it is seen that uh, you are uh, uh, no other candidate is campaigning for other others. Yeah, um, I strongly feel one thing that if I campaign for my other candidates, definitely we will get the the response because people know me that I speak the truth and I uh, want to. tell the people that this government should go pramod savan government yeah. does not deserve a single day in the office and there is a reason for it the reason is very very simple that what dr pramod savan wanted to do was not his agenda was somebody else's agenda and this is what we are trying to to show showcase to the people of goa that the vote which has to uh, come is a vote for change vote for a new government and the government is only congress party government yeah. sir have a meal all good sir well now campaigning is good today we were in aldana and aldana also we are getting good response sabai gello office opening gela is advocate carlos ferreira che ani maka dista jiktala do bara ha Yeah, fight is between tmc and congress now yeah, yeah. and and bjp is going to do third position so mazin bab what do you think about michael lobo joining congress aap pe to pe mere ko ha ha to okay um, i think uh, he has strengthened the co- congress uh, party in goa and um, you know what what had happened earlier out of 17 finally one or two was left in congress and i think uh, with the help of michael they are going to cross that tally which was 17 uh, this time it will be much more because uh, a politician like michael has entered congress thank you sir thank you very much Michael Bob, uh, after this, uh, how many seats do you think you can keep Congress from Bardesh? See, I am not going to give any seat. It is, it is uh, the people of Bardesh 
will give the seats for the Congress party. People of Gareth Bardes wants a change. People of Gareth Bardes are fed up with the same politicians promising them uh, tarring of roads, gutters, uh, and small, small things. What people require today is to see that our unemployed youth gets good jobs, whether it is in private sector or whether it is in government sector. We have to see how to uh, uh, come out with a with a plan for employment for all. And when you say employment for all, we require green industries coming in Goa. We require pharma industries coming in Goa, where there are so many hurdles to bring these pharma industries in Goa that a politician creates these hurdles and not the government. Politicians puts all those layers. So looking at those layers, the pharma industry runs from Goa. This is what I have said in, in the morning in Aldona, that GIDC chairman Glenn Tiklo had put so much of hurdles when he was giving the plots to the in the industrial estates to pharma industries. They ran away from Goa. So we need to simplify so that uh, good uh, pharma industries come in the state of Goa and our youth can get jobs. Even 12th standard SSC pass or fail can get job. Uh, uh, B farm person can get a job. Uh, food and drugs inspector can get a job. All these people who are there working in pharma industries who can who have got who have studied who have got uh, degrees can avail jobs which a pharma industry will take only one long year to uh, establish in the state of goa once they plan and we give them the space within one year the pharma can, industry can take off the why is the bjp leaders targeting only michael lobo see they think that people i uh, follow me and people follow me for one reason, that I take up issues which are related to the people of Goa. The issues which are related to the people of Goa, again I am telling you, are related to employment purpose. The issues are related to uh, self-employment. Like we have taxi owners, we have rent a bike, rent a car, we have so many other owners uh, who want to stand on their own feet. They, there are shack owners, private hut owners, there are so many other pe people. These boys and girls, they want to do business on their own. They want to put a small stall, sell their coffee, tea, juice, omelette rolls and all those things. But what is happening today? Government is putting so many hurdles on them, so many restrictions on them. And these restrictions are stopping them from uh, continuing with their business. A lot of boys and girls who had started business have stopped business today. And the reason is there is no support from the government. Government does not have a vision. Dr. Pramod Savan government does not have a vision. The ministers who are inside are, uh, they, they have over, it's, it's called, they are called rancid. The Manor Parikar had called somebody rancid from the BJP. Rancid top pickle. Ras, rancid pickle. And why they are called rancid is because you look at Movin Gudino. He is more over than rancid. Movin Godino has crossed his limits. You know, he's, though he polishes his hair and all, makes them black, his moustache, and he does some other activities to remain uh, fit and healthy, he's, uh, he's outdated. His uh, brains are gone outdated. So why I'm saying outdated is because he doesn't care for the local person who wants to do business on his own. He tries to put so many hurdles inside that a person who wants to start a rent a bike uh, car business will uh, even if he has taken a loan he'll uh, he'll say that i don't want a loan and run away oh. so in short they are trying to bring in companies from outside the state and telling our goans to be under that company where our goans can do self employment on their own where our goan can stand on their own feet they need not go under the umbrella of an outside company. Now my question, uh, Michael, is that it looks like it is uh, one Michael versus the entire BJP. No, it is not like that. It is a collective work of uh, Digambar Kamath, who is, who is the only MLA who remained with the Congress party, who was the ex-chief minister. But, 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 uh, but, uh, but the BJP doesn't seem to be criticizing him. Advocate Carlos Ferreira, um, then we have good other politicians. Uh, good uh, young faces, new faces, 
and i feel that it is a collective work of all the mlas uh, uh, no, 36 that we understand MLAs michael that, that we understand but why is the bjp targeting only michael lobo <laughs> i just told you people follow me because i take up their issues they see you as a threat uh, could be this look at me as a threat because when i go to a constituency like i i went to aldon i went to mapsa i have told the people the facts when i tell facts bjp party doesn't like that uh, bandi wala in bjp feels that michael lobo should not come to mapsa so he wants to keep me busy occupied so he has given a ticket to some joseph sikwera of kalangut so he thinks that joseph can keep me occupied he is wrong he is dreaming about it i will go all over goa and still all my uh, uh, supporters all my well wishers and the congress lovers and uh, michael lobo uh, well wishers uh, karyakartas will uh, uh, work tirelessly here without me if i go from here to campaign in panjim or in taligaon they will uh, continue the campaign see why they want it like that because they have a hope on michael lobo on congress party they have a hope that these people will do the required changes these people will simplify the shack allotments these people will simplify the the taxi operators issue this people this congress party will simplify the rent a bike which are who have got 10 bikes shouldn't do business in the state of goa who is saying this movin gudino and uh, uh, dr pramod savant now why what is their problem if if movin gudino has 10 cars is michael lobo saying that he shouldn't have 10 cars or can uh, you say Suraj Nandrekar can say on Goenkar Bond that Mavin Gudino should not own ten cars, ten bikes, or whatever it is. It is he is spending, he is taking money. Our youth are taking money now. This youth is taking money for ten bikes. He is buying the bikes. He is renting them out. It is his own business. He employs another two boys to take care of his fifteen bikes. So he is creating employment. He is creating job opportunity. He is not asking job from Michael Lobo or Dr. Pramod Savant. now this difference they cannot understand they think that he should just go and work in some factory or do some labor work he is standing on his own feet we are proud of him this is the difference michael When i go and tell this fact in mapsa or in aldona they get angry they think that i am trying to uh, uh, remove their votes out of their kitty yes people of goa are going to remove the votes out of their kitty people of goa are going to vote for a change that is uh, definite michael uh, my last question to you it's a, it's a very busy schedule here for you uh, my last question seems that the bjp has been alleging that you have been distributing a lot of money in the constituency is it true now all these people are over here all this uh, they are from this constituency none have come from any other constituency you can ask them whether they are come for the love of money whether they have come that michael lobo is giving them money never they have come on their own they have uh, filled up petrol on their own they have done everything on their own please help us so they have done everything on their own and the and the reason is they have a hope they are in a hope that this dr pramod savant government should go this dr pramod savant who who wants to do so many things against the wishes of the people of goa should go this pro, this people though they are not affected with double tracking but they are worried about goa they don't want double tracking they don't want coal more coal to come into goa see all these things are very very important to speak today all these things are very very important to understand today today is a day people are going to decide whether they want double tracking whether they want coal more coal to come into goa or they should be capping of coal what did manohar parrikar say manohar parrikar spoke to the goans he told the goans i will put capping on coal manohar parrikar said that i will not allow more coal into the state of goa what is coming is enough let it go to karnataka from here only this much what did he say i don't want double tracking he said i don't want tanmar project he said i will not uh, do a six lane uh, highway from the forest area and destroy the forest so these are all his words that was the vision of manohar parikar which these people are saying te kide ek frame galta gomtan ani bhavta and i am uh, taking manohar parikar's legacy ahead 
There is nothing like that what they are trying to do. They are trying to finish his legacy. They are trying to finish what Manohar Parikar built in Goa. The party, so-called BJP, built by Manohar Parikar is finished. These are a bunch of rogues who are inside. They, uh, they came from the Congress party over here and they have hijacked this party. And there is a coterie which is working in the party called Bandi, Bandi Koteri. They are protecting these guys. This is, there is nothing beyond this. That is why we slowly have uh, has, uh, has exited from this party for the future of Goans, for the love of Goans, to keep Goa for Goans. The, the thing is, as you said, uh, I just want to ask you another last question is, uh, if Congress comes to power, all these three controversial projects will be scrapped? 100 percent. They have to be scrapped. There is no other way. There is no other way we can keep these projects going. No, the, but the, the first double tracking, all that uh, uh, land acquisition thing, immediately Chief Minister will order the collector to stop it. Thank you very much, Michael Bab, uh, uh, for answering all the questions, all the doubts of the people. Uh, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah.